Welcome to Rico's Reading Room. In today's video, I'm going to read a book about words. I hope you enjoy it. The Very Inappropriate Word by Jim Tobin Illustrated by Dave Coverley If you have this book at home, go and grab it so you can read along with me. Michael Collected Words He found lots of words on signs, pizzeria, and a few on TV, sudsy. He picked up new words at practice, slugger, and downtown, scram. And even in school, where Mrs. Dixon gave the kids one new spelling word every day. Spokes. He especially liked little words for big things. Vast. And big words for little things. Smithereens. And easy words for hard things. Brick. And hard words for soft things. Elastic. Every night, he took all his words home and put them in a box under his bed. One morning on the bus, Michael picked up a word he had never heard before. When everybody was off the bus, Michael's sister said, Michael, that is a very inappropriate word. What does inappropriate mean? Michael asked his friend. Bad, whispered his friend. So Michael hid the word in his pocket. That afternoon, Michael heard the word at the park. And on the radio. And even in the basement, where his mom was trying to fix the toilet. Dear, said his dad, don't you think that's an inappropriate word? Michael could see there was something kind of bad about it, but there was also something about it that he kind of liked. The next day at recess, he showed the word to his friends. It's bad, he whispered. Scott tried the word out loud. Sharon tried it louder. Then Michael yelled it at the top of his lungs. Michael, said the recess supervisor, that is a very inappropriate word. By lunchtime, a few other people were saying the word. Then in class, it seemed like everybody was saying it. Class, said Mrs. Dixon. Where did that word come from? Michael! Michael! I see, said Mrs. Dixon. Michael, please see me after school. Finally, the bell rang. Michael, said Mrs. Dixon. Michael, Michael, Michael. I need a little help in the library. I'm running out of spelling words, said Mrs. Dixon. Could you dig up a few new ones? I'll try, said Michael. Michael found words underwater, snorkel, words in the sky, nimbus, words underground, lava, words that spy, sleuth, words that fight, Coral, quibble, words that sing, vibrato, words for doing crazy things, shenanigans, sick words, pox, trick words, presto, loud words, dynamite, slick words, slimy, words for nasty, putrid, 
Words for fast. Dragster. Old words that new words surpassed. Egghead. Nerd. Words that crackle in your head. Kindling. Words that won't get out of bed. Slacker. Words that are solid. Hunk. Words that are square. Cube. Words that you have to handle with care. Flimsy, flimsy, flimsy. Words stuck together. Eyeball. Words to cut in half. Sawhorse. Words to make a baby laugh. Chortle. Words that stink. Stench. Words that soar. Aerodynamic. Words you can't get out the door. Refrigerator. Michael dug up new words for two hours and 45 minutes. Then Mrs. Dixon said, Thank you, Michael. That's enough for today. Okay, Mrs. D, said Michael. But is it all right if I take a couple of these words home with me? Sure, said Mrs. D. Helium. Michael had so many new words that he lost track of the very inappropriate word. So, of course, somebody else picked it up. The end. Thank you for listening to my reading. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for more videos. And always keep reading.